De regreso aquí en Auto 060 y ahora we're gonna switch back to English because we're gonna talk to Dave Waterman about the Shell Rotella Super Rig Contest, which uh, has a pretty cool announcement for this year's edition. How are you, Dave? Wonderful. How about yourself, Javier? Excellent. Thank you. So, can you please first explain a little bit about this event, the Shell Rotella Super Rig Contest? Yeah, the, the Super Rigs uh, contest or event, it, it happens every year. We move it around the country to give uh, participants uh, from all, all parts of North America uh, a, ch a chance to compete. And what it is, it's, uh, it, it's a truck beauty contest. Uh, well, what kind of differs from our Super Rigs event compared to some others that are out there is that these have to be working trucks to be able to compete uh, in the categories for the, uh, for, for the awards and prize money that we offer. Uh, so we, we really see some pretty impressive trucks given that these are the same trucks that could be driving down the highway any day, you know, pulling a, you know, a, a trailer or, or delivering some uh, heavy equipment. So it, it, it's just pretty spectacular to see that level of dedication to the truck by these owners. Yeah, and uh, when you talk about uh, the level of dedication, I mean, it's uh, it's hard to explain, I guess, in words. Uh, for that, we're going to post some pictures on our Facebook page to, so people can see it. But uh, can you, I mean... Uh, do your best effort to describe some of these rigs that are like pretty pretty amazing right oh absolutely i'm gonna go back a few years uh this is about four years ago one of the contestants that won our best of show entry uh he had a beautiful lime green paint job with black highlights and he had led lights all over the tractor on the top and bottom inside the cab and he had a sound system that would rival any out there on the, on the road, uh, whether it be from a passenger car, you know, to, to a house, the sound system was just spectacular. But the, the reason I picked this one to share with you, uh, his interior was all done up. It, it had the, uh, the two captain's chairs up front, but in the back sleeper compartment, he had that done where the floors and ceilings were mirrored, and he had a stripper pole in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, and, and keep in mind, I did say this is a working truck. He, he's a truck uh, driver out of uh, Connecticut, and he hauls hazardous waste uh, during uh, the, the winter months and during the summer they actually deliver uh, water to fill up swimming pools so uh, you know it, it, it's pretty interesting to see that level of detail and creativity in the theme of the truck uh, and, it, 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 and it's a working truck and it's like you you, you could pull up next to him on the street and uh, you look over this beautiful truck and you had no idea what he has going on inside that truck <laughs> and then what uh, at night they, they have like private shows or something with that <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess you know he has to entertain himself when he's out there on the highways <laughs> pretty amazing so um, so about this year's event, uh, it's pretty cool announcement because you're gonna go to a pretty special venue and not only you're gonna have your event, but you're gonna be part of another, let's say, bigger event. Can we say that? Yeah. So, and, no, and uh, bigger is, is a proper uh, way to describe it because this year we actually themed it Go Big because this will be, out of the 32 years that Super Rigs has been going on, this will be by far the biggest um, event. Uh, we're holding it at the Z-Max Dragway, which is part of the overall Charlotte Motor Speedway complex up in Concord, North Carolina. And we, we chose that for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's a world-class facility. Uh, it has plenty of space for us to be able to invite hundreds of trucks to come and compete. Um, but we also heard over the years from drivers saying, look, when they're driving uh, over the weekends, yeah, they, they're they're bored driving down the highway is not an, an exciting thing necessarily so they listen to the radio and uh, in particular they, they like listening to nascar events so we we're able to work with the folks at the charlotte motor speedway uh to, to make an, uh, an arrangements where we could have the super rigs there and uh as part of it we're going to be offering the contestants one free ticket to the friday night race which is the um uh the campers world uh series yeah. which is the uh, their, their truck the truck series uh, yeah so we'll have, Yep. So that's that's Friday night, and then on Saturday is the uh, the Sprint Cup All Star Race. So all the big names will be there competing. So we're we're offering our contestants an opportunity while they're there showing their trucks and building their camaraderie with their uh, their co uh, co hard courts that they can actually take in a couple of NASCAR races as well. Yeah. Uh, so um, when does the actual uh, competition for the rigs uh, takes place? Uh, right. I guess before the the NASCAR races, right? Yeah. Well, no, absolutely. Yeah, we're going to have the uh, truck starting to roll in probably on Tuesday next week. Uh, the, the competition doesn't physically start until the 15th. So unlike some of the other shows, we allow them to to work, uh, you know, in detailing their truck right up until the time they want to
to show it. So they don't have to, you know, come to the uh, judging line uh, in, until they're absolutely ready. But they have to do it before 11 o'clock on Saturday because that's when we close the judging line down. Yeah. Um, but there's going to be, be a lot of fun. They, they'll have a chance to, to spread out. It's on a big, you know, uh, expansive asphalt parking lot. We'll have different vendors there um, where um, we actually had a gentleman write a song for us this year about Super 8, so we're going to have a private concert going on Thursday night. Um, on Saturday, as part of the, the All-Star Race, um, there's going to be a concert from a gentleman named uh, Jake Owen. So it's just, um, our, our contestants are going to have access to all of this, so it, it just really is, you know, when we say go big, this, this we couldn't have described it any better. Excellent. Yeah, we're talking with Dave Waterman about the Shell Rotella Super Rig Contest for 2014. And uh, Dave, can you, uh, I mean, a lot of people are obviously familiar with Shell gasoline, but can you talk about the Rotella uh, brand? Because this is something that uh, I guess is, uh, I mean, it's part of the Shell company, obviously, but not as popular, I guess, as the gas products, uh, the gasoline products. Well, uh, it, it depends on where you are, you know, to, uh, to really state it as being popular or not. It's near and dear to my heart because I'm the North American marketing manager for Rotella, and uh, it is the number one heavy-duty diesel engine oil in North America, you know, both U.S. and Canada. And it got that way because over the years we, we had our scientists design it where it, it met the, um, the demands of that heavy, uh, hard-working engine. And um, a, the reputation on performance has just been built over the 45-plus years that it's been out there. And um, we, we're in a, a wonderful place where we are the number one brand of, of diesel engine oil. Uh, you know, it, it's, it has its big place with the big trucks that run down the highway, but it, it really, uh, you, you'd be surprised how many of the diesel pickup truck owners are using it as well. You know, they, it's got that reputation uh, taking care of the big guys so the little guys know that it's a good engine for oil for them as well. Excellent, yeah. And I guess uh, diesel is becoming more popular in uh, more uh, regular vehicles. I mean, I was, uh, I had the opportunity to be at the Shell Echo Marathon a couple of weeks ago in Houston, and uh, they actually were some scientists explaining uh, your new technology uh, using uh, other sources of uh, creating uh, oil for diesel vehicles and everything. So I guess that's that that uh, market is expanding for you guys, right? Oh yeah, it, you know diesel uh, engine oil and, and diesel fuel is really really popular in uh, countries outside the U.S. in Europe especially, and you know it it it, uh, it, it brings those um, you know the fuel economy and the cost of operation you know to a more manageable level than some of the gasoline powered engines that are out there. So we're going to see more and more the, um, the the popularity here in the U.S. and Canada uh, expand in that space to to adopt more of the diesel vehicles. Um, you know, you, you, know, you see the passenger cars because a lot of like the Mercedes and whatnot, they're they're specking the diesel. But you'll also see more and more of the uh, the trucks go that route as well. Yeah, and uh, as you mentioned, the Germans are. I mean, they're way ahead of uh, technology for for vehicle, for regular vehicles. But I guess General Motors is expanding, and Ram already has a the 1500 diesel. Uh, which is the first pickup truck of uh, of that size uh, with the, that kind of engine option? Well, I think Americans in, in, in general are probably still a little fearful of the, the diesel engine oil based on years gone by where, you know, you always think of it as loud and, and smoky and everything like that. But the technology's changed so much yeah. where it, 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 they really won't know the difference except in the overall performance of the vehicle. Which so, is, um, yeah, which is where it comes. Uh, David Waterman from uh, the Shell Rotella Super Rigs. I'm sorry to cut you off, uh, Dave, but uh, we're running out of time here at, at this show. So we're going to post some pictures of the event. And like, so thank you very much for your time and information and good luck with the contest. And maybe next week we'll check uh, to see the winners. Yeah, hey, I'll be here. One last thing. If, if anyone wants more information, they can go to rotella.com forward slash super rigs. All the information's up there. We'd love anyone to stop out. It's a free show. So it's open to everyone. Excellent. Thank you very much, Dave. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you. Bueno, ese fue el show de esta semana aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Esto es Alto 060. Yo soy Javier Mota. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.